said I'ma crush it. Call me. Hi, I'm Anthony Walker, your future professional gamer and host of Unsung, our region's non-profit online news magazine show. This episode, we're coming to you on the Mon Wharf, looking out over Station Square on this beautiful, beautiful Pittsburgh day. Happy anniversary! That's right, Unsung has been on the air and online for one year. We will take a look back at our first year in this edition and also visit the Westmoreland with the Community Foundation of Westmoreland County's Young Professional Group. But now, here's a look at what's going on with our area nonprofits. Carnegie Science Center will honor veterans with a special memorial on Sunday, May 27th. Led by veterans of USS 6 Requin Base, the ceremony takes place from 10 to 11 a.m. on the USS Requin submarine docked on the Ohio River. The event is free to the general public who are encouraged to watch from the shore. Beginning at 10 a.m., the Beaver County Steerman Association will perform a flyover with a vintage Steerman World War II era biplane, weather permitting. Afterwards, veterans of the Requin base will toll the bell once for each submarine that is on eternal patrol and will cast flower petals on the water so that they may travel down the rivers of this great nation to the oceans where fellow submarines have gone down. The Marine Color Guard from Three Rivers Leatherneck Detachment 310 Marine Corps League will perform a gun salute. Grants for Girls by Girls was announced by the Women and Girls Foundation. The program will award $10,000 in grants for ideas to make a real difference in girls' lives in our communities. The program encourages girls to think about what is wrong and think about how to make it right, then apply for funds to make it happen. Who decides who will get the money? Why other girls, of course. Deadline is June 16th, and you can apply at the address on your screen. Unsung took a road trip to our neighbors in Westmoreland County for a special sneak peek of Art on Tap at the Westmoreland in Greensburg. Our hosts were the young professionals, the future leaders who are working today to make Westmoreland County a stronger, healthier community. Here's how they're making an impact. Thank you, Anthony. I'm Bruce. I'm Jordan. I'm Mike. We're the Visionaries. We're here at the Westmoreland. And we're here to... Crash Art on Tap. Let's go. Art on Tap is a happy hour program. We have um, once a month. It's always the second Friday of every month um, from 5 to 7. For $7, you get two drink tickets. We serve beer and wine. There's also soft drinks. We always have entertainment and then, of course, you get to spend time in the museum. It's kind of a, a happy hour event where the, the conversation is lively and, and of course the culture is, is also showcased. But the nice thing about it is people can kind of relax in a, in a less than clinical or professional level and, and have the conversations that, that lead to the development of this community. The Art on Tap, which was initially aimed at young professionals, draws all kinds of people, all ages. We once heard a visitor to Art on Tap not refer to it as the happy hour at the museum, but as the scavenger hunt, where you can also get two drinks. We've had hundreds of people here. Um, a couple hundred people, I think, was our, our record, which is actually um, pretty crowded. And so the museum, which is going to be expanding in the next couple of years, really needs the extra space. Visionaries are a group of young professionals who find the imperative to bring philanthropy to the community in which they live and work. The idea was that there's a lot of young people, young professionals in Westmoreland County who need an outlet, one for social uh, engagement, social functions, uh, and two, there's a lack of an opportunity for young professionals in this community to learn about philanthropy, to learn about the nonprofit sector that's so vital to, to the community. And so we thought if we could bridge both of those ideas, both of those issues uh, in one group, it would work really well. And five years later, we we're starting to get our legs under us and it's turning into a good thing. I think that the, the common complaint is that the brain trust and the youth typically leaves these communities and, and, and perhaps returns at a later date. But, but we see this as an opportunity for the professionals to give back to the place where they're working, to the place where they're making the connections, using the resources of the community here and, and Westmoreland County in particular, and uh, I, I think it's a, a chance to start the dialogue about that charitable giving in, in the community, and then maybe continue it by, by kind of putting where your money where your mouth is. What we attempt to do with the visionaries is to build an endowment. So we imagine that the collective power of all of the young professionals throughout Westmoreland County is something that can be harnessed and leveraged 
uh, towards something really exciting for the philanthropic sector uh, and for young people. So imagine if every young person in Westmoreland County donated one dollar every year to the visionaries. Uh, it's a way to leave a legacy, it's a way to show that as a group we are engaged in our community and we are doing things to better our community that uh, prior to the visionaries and prior to groups like the visionaries, we really didn't have an opportunity to show. They can visit the website, uh, the Central Westmoreland Community Foundation, and that's a great place to start. Visionaries do actually have their own page on there, as well as Facebook, uh, soon to be receiving some tweets as well. In the near future, we will be uh, on June 10th, we will be at the University of Pittsburgh at Greensburg for a croquet tournament. So don your whites, come out, join us, and uh, you'll have a great time as a pup. Be sure to stay tuned for more from Westmoreland in future editions of Unsung. It has been a fun and informative year here at Unsung. We've covered so many wonderful stories, met some great people that are working to better our community, and even took home an award. Let's take a look at the past year. So I said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy. Welcome to Unsung, the Pittsburgh region's nonprofit news magazine show. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. Crush it, call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I out in a pace car. And these dudes fucking mad cause they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said the flow crush like the force of Niagara. I'm after a major label budget, but since I'm not pop top 40, they all scared to touch it. Like Russian roulette, who's next on the set? Four and a half gonna shine without. The use of a get, get princess cutter, as I clear. And if you don't know what that means, then get the f out of here. Cause I'm in a lab rocking with the Fresh Prince of Pittsburgh. So this the new way. Hope you got your shoes laid. Here to change the music game and give it a new face. I'm taking someone, don't care who's late. Cause dude's fake and I'm here to give a true taste. So this the new way. Hope you got your shoes laid. Here to change the music game and give it a new face. I'm taking someone, don't care who's late. Cause dude's fake and I'm here to give a true taste. On June 16th, Pittsburgh's favorite, The Businessmen, will once again rock the house for charity. The Businessmen take stage at 8 p.m. for ALS Connections, a new website that aggregates information from around the world to raise awareness of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. The ALS Connections team is participating in the Pittsburgh Walk to Defeat ALS, and all funds raised will go to support patient care in Western Pennsylvania. Suggested donation is $10. There will also be a silent auction and 50-50. Info can be found at business-men.com and is available via Facebook at the link on your screen. Penn Forest Burial Park, Pittsburgh's first green burial park, will host their second annual picnic on Saturday, June 9th at 11 a.m. The day is a fun and relaxed opportunity to learn more about the park. Details are available at Facebook at the link on your screen. June is fast approaching, and that means it's Three Rivers Art Festival time. Starts June 1st and runs through June 10th. The events calendar is available at the number 3riversartfest.org. Thanks for watching this episode of Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can check out previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. So I said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I out in a pace car. And these dudes get mad cause they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said the flow crush like the force of Niagara. I'm after a major label budget, but since I'm not pop top 40, they all scared to touch it.